What's up guys, Michael Six Muldoon here and I'm gonna be meeting up with my boy Devante uh, and we're gonna be talking about some tips for you on how to grow your following on either Instagram, YouTube, or whatever the case is, any social media platform because uh, he's been killing the game on Instagram and he's gonna give you some secrets that you can follow. So uh, let's get this party started. Now you're recording. This is Devante Magic. Uh, Devante is my business partner, uh, obviously one of my closest friends, uh, probably one of the people I've known the long, and he's a magician. Uh, and he has been absolutely killing, and I mean killing, uh, the Instagram game. And here's the crazy part. In a month, of two months? Not, I don't even wow. think it's been, it's, it's, it's been, been 20 it's, years. <laughs> <laughs> well, his, his whole career is 20 years, but, uh, his Instagram game, uh, you know, since the pandemic hit, you get stuck, there's only so much you can do. But he took to Instagram and he grew from, oh, I think it was like 4,000 and change to over 50,000 in a matter of weeks, um, which is absolutely insane. Talk to us about that, Devontae. Yeah, it's been an insane journey. Uh, look, you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, you know, there's a lot of like clickbait and things that say like, you're gonna grow immediately. Look, it's been, a, it's been a lifetime worth of work. So if you're wondering what that is, I do magic on live stream on Instagram uh, and I go on with different celebrities and I read their minds. We literally have teams that help us get on these pages so the teams know that they're really the ones responsible for getting us on this. So I, I think that goes to the first thing that I would say is that if you're gonna try to grow, focus on a community, number one. You can call it a community, a tribe, uh, you know, your niche market, uh, whatever your word is. I like the word community because it's it's you live within the community and, and you look out for each other and everybody plays different roles but a community is so important when you're trying to go on any platform who are you speaking to and for me I found you know there were people you know uh, it, I can categorize them through age range you know whether they were like kids from 13 to 18 who liked magic who were following specific people I would go live with these people and they said wait a minute we really like magic and so you know my account started to grow in that space Again, not because it was just random. I'm sure these kids have seen many different things, but the fact that they all liked magic and, and, it, and it resonated allowed me to begin this community. So first things first, you have to build the community. So in that case, you know, build a community, talk to your people that follow you, reach out to people, have conversations, and don't ignore the DMs, don't ignore the comments. You see people do this on YouTube all the time. They'll comment on everybody in the comment. You see, I do it. If you comment on this video, I am gonna be responding to you talk to people it's a great way to build community uh, and you know it's, it's, it's not just about just saying hey look at me but you're kind of building uh, this friendship right this trust in each other like hey I, I appreciate you for supporting me and in turn you know I'm a real person I'm gonna interact with you we're in this together let's look at number two number two number two is consistency uh, none of this is gonna be possible you can do the best thing you can put a viral video out on your first time if you're not consistent and consistency takes more than just literally doing it over and over it's being prepared to be doing it over and over so both being mentally prepared to do this you know uh, with knowing what it's gonna take and then actually doing it so there's the mental state of it you know of you getting yourself uh, into that mindset of okay this is something I'm doing which hopefully you're doing something you love or something you enjoy because you're gonna have to do a lot of it so I'm on live every single night uh, you know whether you know even you know my daughter's birthday I mean we celebrate at a certain time but before that and after that I was still you know staying consistent and so consistency is key uh, that you know I wouldn't have put momentum grows on itself right and so I, I don't think I would have grown as fast you know one live stream you know every week uh, at least for me it wasn't gonna work I'm sure there's a place that you can get to with a certain amount of followers where yeah maybe you can just put out one a week and that works and that might even help you but at the beginning I think it's so important to be consistent you don't have to do it you know every single minute of the day but for me it was I was going live at least once a day but sometimes two to three times a day so there's your number two, be consistent. And I have to admit, this is an area that I've struggled with, mainly because I also, you know, I was doing magic full time for a while. Uh, then I decided to go back to school, finish my uh, my degree. Uh, so I finished my undergrad degree, then I got a master's degree, uh, and then I started working full time teaching uh, and still doing magic. So like I had no time and I really wasn't posting online and I wasn't really building a following. Uh, and this YouTube venture, you can see like now I have to be consistent, right? Like you can't start something and not be consistent. Have to post every week. Over the last couple of weeks, I was finishing up my degree and I took a hit. I lost a few followers because I didn't post like I was scheduled to post. That's part of the game, right? Be consistent. And number three. And the third one, the third one is, could be the first one. It, none of these are necessarily in order, but it's be authentic and be yourself. And that takes work, believe it or not. Specifically now, now that I'm in front of the camera, actually I'm the most comfortable probably I've ever been 
mainly because I've now been doing it. So that consistency is probably gonna help you with this. Now you may be asking like, what do you mean? I'm, I'm just myself, that doesn't make any sense. Well, and there's two sides of the story. Some people might feel that way. Some other people feel, I don't know how, what that means or how to feel that way, I'm very shy. We'll get to that. But if you already feel like, hey, you know, it, it is me, you know, this is natural to me. Make sure that you're not putting on such a facade or such a, such a character on that we can't see you and your humanity and, and when you're struggling, you know what I mean? And for me, I know for many, you know, there were many times where I would try to hide the struggle or I would try to hide what was happening. And even recently I got upset online and I'm not saying you should go have a rant online, but just the fact that I showed a little bit of vulnerability, I wasn't trying to be as, as clean cut and I can show my, my, you know, my flaws uh, like there, like I didn't know what I was going to say. Um, it, it's so important on, on YouTube, on Instagram, on social media, LinkedIn, Facebook, whatever you're doing, whatever, whenever you're listening to this and there's a new platform, what's not going to change are the things I've just told you, you know, uh, but being authentic is absolutely one of the most important things that's really changed the game for me. No longer, especially when I'm doing a live stream where I have no other choice but to be myself this is not a pre-set video i have to be myself and so it's funny because now i treat this as if we're going live right now i'm not i don't try to be something i'm not before i remember when i first started um maybe you put a clip in here of me like doing something weird but uh you know i would i would be I don't know. Uh, you know, I would, I would be, I don't know, I would try to be the performer or, hi, my name is Devontae, or whatever. It's just some weird stuff, but that's it. I, I can attest to that because we've had a number of conversations because he never had his natural voice. Devontae would go in and it would always be performance mode. I'm gonna, uh, you know, uh, and if you don't know what that means, it's like when you walk on a stage, think of like a showman, right? Like the greatest showman, like you walk out like, ladies and gentlemen, uh, versus saying, you know, hi, I'm Devontae, and I, I'm, you know, nice to meet you all, I'm happy to be here, and being conversational. Um, and that is not to say that performer mode, you know, can't be who you are. If, if that's who you are on the regular, be that person. But what we knew is that Devante, when I'm sitting in a car with him, was not that guy. Like he would never walk up to a crowd. Like, Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. I'm here. Only when he was on stage, or only when he was put in front of a camera, he would jump into performer mode. Yep. Um, and I think that's so important to learn is just try to find who you are in the regular setting and convey that. Yes, you can play it up a little bit, right? You can obviously be natural, Vernon, but you could play it up a little bit, of course, and, and make sure that side is shown uh, at a larger scale, but it doesn't mean you have to turn into something that you're not by yelling and screaming and being this performer. Um, I'm naturally silly. I'm naturally a little, little, little crazy. Um, I can be loud. I can tell jokes and I try to convey that when I'm uh, performing on stage. And that's just kind of, you know, what it is. Like, that's just, I try to be who I am as a regular person. I play it larger, but I don't play it differently, right? I stay authentic. And that's it. Three rules, easy, go do them. Three things you can do right there to grow your following on Instagram, YouTube, and it doesn't matter if you're a magician, this applies to anything, if you're into music, uh, rap, if you're into juggling, if you're into anything you wanna do, uh, those are three things. Uh, even just being a YouTuber, those are three things that you should be following. So yes. shout out to Devante uh, for joining us. Uh, go follow him at Devante Magic on Instagram, youtube.com slash Magic Devante. Of course, all the links in the description and they'll be popping up somewhere floating around his head yep. as he stares into the camera awkwardly. And if you have Instagram, Devante Magic, go see me. Uh, chances are I'll probably be doing a live stream the night that you uh, watch this. Check it out. He goes live at night. Um, absurd hours we're we're in new york so <laughs> eastern time he's up to like six in the morning sometimes on instagram live and he's doing it with celebrities the most recent one was ll cool j uh, i'll link that one uh, below so you can go to his page and watch that one because it's so good so so good uh and that's it for today guys thanks for joining us and we will talk to you soon crazy story just got out of the car with Devonte. it's his car and i took out my keys and i hit the button to, to lock the door for some reason i, I, I don't know why so yeah, that was it. Devante put us on to some things. Go check out his page, uh, really crazy. Uh, those are three things that you can follow right now that I think are incredibly dope, uh, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, what's the TV show you're on? Hey. Come on, man. Uh, the Neighborhood, man. The, the Neighborhood on CBS. Season three as well, man. Super excited. What channel Congrats, is it? Bro. So CBS. CBS. Mondays at eight. Mondays at eight, CBS, guys. Yeah, man. I play the role of Jeremiah. It's a recurring character that comes back. I'm You know that's how Tracy Morgan started on. Hey, thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you. It's been a long time coming. Yeah, man, I love to, I love to see the the art still going during this.
quarantine, bro. We need entertainment out here.